So, is it live or live? Is it an invalid or is it invalid? In today's video, we're going to be having fun with homonyms. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Dr. Swasti Dhar and welcome to my channel, Learn English with Swasti, where I talk about everything English, grammar, vocabulary and communication skills. Let's start today's video. When we are talking about pairs of words like live and live, we are actually talking about homograph. Homo means the same and nim means name. So homonyms is this broad term which has homophones, that is words which sound the same, and homographs, that is words which are spelt the same. Now ideally, when we say homographs, we mean words which have the same spelling but they have different meanings. So homographs can come in two variations. We can have homographs where the word is pronounced in exactly the same way, but it has two meanings depending on what it is that you're trying to say. So in today's video, we are going to be looking at 10 such homographs which have the same spelling, but are pronounced totally differently. So the first set of word is live and live. When you pronounce it as live, it means somewhere you stay, like I live in Mumbai or where do you live? However, if you say live, it means something is happening right at this moment. So we are watching the match live or this is a live telecast of today's events. So there are two different pronunciations, same spelling, live and live. The next set of words is invalid and invalid. Invalid means not valid, which means something is not acceptable. For example, your votes are invalid. An invalid is the person who is not able to move. I saw an invalid who was sitting on the wheelchair. Or my mother is an invalid. Same spelling, different pronunciations. Here's another one. Tear and tear. Tears generally used in the plural are what comes out of our eyes when we cry. So if we can say, oh, she teared up or there were tears running down her cheeks. That is tears, T-E-A-R. But when you tear a piece of paper so you break into two so that's called tearing tearing the paper he teared the paper so that is t-e-a-r now this word bow has many many different meanings it is a bow as in a bow and arrow it is also a bow tie and it is also used as bow, bow, when you are talking about a curtsy that a man takes. He bows down. And even for a dog, when we say bow, wow, it is pronounced as bow. So there are four different meanings and two different ways to say bow or bow. Now here's another word. When we mean it as a polish, shoe polish or nail polish, it is pronounced as polish. However, if it is spelt with a capital P, Polish, it means a person from Poland. Now in this word, when we mean that sandy hot place, we call it a desert. Desert, a z sound. But you can also desert somebody. Desert somebody. So it's still a z sound, but there's an emphasis. Rajasthan is a desert. He deserted her. Deserted her. There is also one which is spelled with a double S. Desert. Sweet dish. Different spelling, therefore not a part of the homograph, but. W-I-N-D is pronounced as wind when you mean it in the form of air. It's very windy. But sometimes you wind up a watch. You know, we wind up with this old watch which needed to be wound up. I know it's old fashioned. Nobody really wears an analog watch now. But whenever you have to crank something up, that's winding. 
even when you mean a road a winding road that means it goes up and down so there are a lot of not straight lines there so that's a wind wind and wind led lead means to lead somebody to go ahead and somebody follows you like a leader lead on the other hand is a metal so things are made of lead like a bullet whereas lead is what leaders do when you say minute you can mean what is generally referred to as 60 seconds one minute but this word also stands for something very very small there we pronounce it as minute minute row is like rowing your boat but if you are having a violent argument with somebody that is a row we ended up having a row for any of these homographs new for you do let me know in the comments below thank you for watching my video do like and subscribe if you found value you can also follow my blog learningwithsd.com and follow my instagram page learn english with swasti